Hey guys, welcome back to some more F1 2018 and part 2 of our Mercedes career mode. Thank you for all the support on part 1. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And uh, if you didn't see part 1, then make sure you do go and check it out. Because uh, it certainly was a, a fairly interesting first weekend. So as you can see, I've already done the practice sessions for this weekend's Bahrain Grand Prix. We have had some upgrades come through. As I said uh, in the last episode, we did one in each section the one that has come through is this one I believe the uh, the sort of durability thing so everything should be a little bit more durable we as you can see we've got 862 resource points to spend I'm gonna wait until next weekend uh, before we spend some more because I want to see how many of these updates come through uh, in China next weekend and then we can uh, maybe look at making some more upgrades but if you are new around here I'm Joe or Captain Goodspeed and make sure you do subscribe for regular uh, F1 content um, and yeah hopefully you will enjoy this week's episode or t today's episode I should say not this week but uh, we're going to go into the Bahrain Grand Prix qualifying now I'll go into Q3 and we'll see if we can put together a good lap. Let's hope we get there again Well, you join me at the start of Q3 we have topped the second qualifying session It's been nip and tuck between me and Lewis so far Ricardo was actually the quickest in Q1 um, but uh, Yeah, we were top in Q2. We went on the super soft tires because uh, I feel like last time we missed out strategy-wise because we won the slower tyre for longer and, and maybe in 25% races that, that that's not the strategy to go with. So we did go super soft tyres. As you can see, we, we looked after them better than we did in Q1. So those are the set that we will start on tomorrow. Uh, it is going to be tough in Q3. Uh, I'm not sure whether we have the pace to get pole position i'm sure that the other cars will turn up their uh, their, their engines and possibly outdo us but we'll have to see um we'll get the bank lap in first and hopefully you guys will look forward to seeing us challenge for pole position here well guys here we come around the final corner on our first flying lap of the session it's a decent exit Lewis Hamilton is quickest at the moment with a 128 now. What are we going to do? A 129.3. That is a little bit disappointing. Three tenths slower than we were in Q2. But we have managed to at least put on the front row. Um, but hopefully we'll be able to out-qualify Lewis before the end of the session. Although Sebastian Vettel has just shaved three tenths off Lewis's time. Boy, oh boy. This is going to be a tough one. All right, guys, you join me about halfway through the lap. We're a tenth down on our time at the moment. It's not looking good. We were the last man over the line um, with a chance of getting pole position. We've got a good exit out of that corner. It's going to be all about this second half of the lap here as to whether we can dismantle Sebastian Vettel from pole position a little bit wide onto the curbs there. That is not going to help our cause. We come through sector two, and that is actually a purple sector two. So it's all going to be about this final sector now. We're tenth and a half up. We are losing time all the way down this straight simply because we got out wide onto the curbs. We come into the final turn. It's a decent exit. We come up to the line. We're gaining time, time all the way, but it's only good enough for third place. We just couldn't string it together at the end there. A little bit unfortunate, but top three, we can be pleased with that. We're only a, about a tenth behind Lewis. But before we go, let's quickly remind ourselves of our top three, who are Vettel, Hamilton and Hansen. But there we go. That is the top three. Sebastian Vettel on pole. Looking imperious, to be honest. I'm not sure we could have found another half a second out that lap. I, I am confident we could have beaten Lewis today. Uh, we didn't quite meet our time from Q2, so there's definitely some more to give tomorrow. Verstappen in a good fourth. Reikkonen will be disappointed with fifth, it has to be said. And Ricardo, five tenths off uh, his teammate, will be very disappointed in sixth. Fernando Alonso, again in the top ten, as well as Nico Hulkenberg. So let's get ready 
for tomorrow's race. There's something in the Bahrain air tonight, and I'm not just talking about the sand. Our brightest minds have thrust their brightest ideas into the spotlight of the Sakia circuit this evening as we look ahead once more to a Grand Prix that has thrilled us so consistently in the past. ready to go then and this is what the starting grid I don't know why they they didn't talk uh, <laughs> to Anthony Davidson there Fantastic how weird from the multiple world champion and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside looking down the rest of the grid we have Hansen Verstappen Kimi Raikkonen and Ricardo Alonso Hulkenberg Sainz and Stoffel van Dorn Gasly Ocon Sergio Perez and Hartley Leclerc Rojan they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty Lance Stroll and Sergei Sorok, Magnussen and Marcus Ericsson rounds off the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Yeah, sorry for interrupting the intro there, but it was really weird. Um, and aim for another top ten finish. I mean, well, I, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. He didn't talk about the the circuit. I guess it's just a glitch, you know. It, it is still. Release day when I am uh, recording this, but uh, yeah, thank you for all the support on part one. And obviously, there was that controversial move past Reikman, and you know, reviewing the footage, yeah, you know, all four wheels were off the track. Uh, we probably should have let him back past, but you know, we'll, we'll we'll give him a bit of leeway later in the season, I guess. Uh, it's just one of those things. Heat of the moment. It was the last lap. And uh, I didn't really know uh, what to do. But uh, we are going to add a little bit more fuel on board because we were struggling with that somewhat um, in the last race. So that is what we're going to do today. Let's see what lap we are stopping. Um, does it actually say? I'm not entirely sure it does. There is a way to change your strategy. Ah, here we go. Edit strategy. So... Um, three uh, so so there you go pit lap five um from the super softs onto the softs for today's race so here we go let's get ready for the formation lap uh, and obviously lewis hamilton in se uh, second position he'll be looking to get off to a good start in this grand prix and he'll be hoping that he can make a move over Vettel into turn one. Hopefully Vettel doesn't bolt this time like he did in the Australian Grand Prix. But um, no, I'm looking forward to this one under the lights in Bahrain. I always do enjoy this circuit. I just never seem to have the pace here. And um, you know what's frustrating is we did have the pace this time. You know, we probably could have certainly out qualified Lewis um, like we did last time out maybe even went for Vettel but next time out China definitely oh, we're going to be disqualified from the formation lap for that yeah right so can we skip the formation lap yes we can this was a, a regular fixture last year on the channel um, where we made contact with people on the first uh, formation lap but um, yeah here we are getting ready now for the lights here in Bahrain lights out away we go for the second race of the season. What a start for Max Verstappen and Kimi Raikkonen off the line. We bogged down somewhat. Lewis Hamilton having a look down the inside of Sebastian Vettel. Is there contact up ahead? They're going side by side into turn two. We're being pushed around by Ricardo in the background there. And uh, safety car has been deployed. So let's have a little look at what happened um, off the start here. Uh, obviously... Um, we sort of were swamped round the outside by Ricardo. I guess that that may be 
our fault. But we sort of had the race in line. I think it was just unfortunate that uh, Alonso and Ricardo were round the outside. Alonso makes contact with Ricardo, and then Ricardo makes contact with us. So I don't know. I, I mean, I guess we squeeze them out. But where do we go in, in this situation? It's three wide into turn two. Uh, I, I blame Alonso for this incident. And he puts Ricardo round. Um, uh, I don't know if there's been any retirements or whatever, but there's certainly a big pileup of cars. So the the safety car has been deployed. So it's time to sort of use this opportunity to save the tyres, save the um, the ERS as well. Drop your speed. Our delta is too low, and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. But our first safety car of. F1 2018, uh, again, we lose a couple of places off the start. A little bit cautious, I guess, off the line. We are bogging down, haven't quite nailed a, a start yet. Maybe um, fiddling too much with the engine settings and, and things like that. But, um, no, another crazy start. Somebody is out of the Grand Prix. I can't quite work out who it is. Shall we have a, have a little look on the... Race director. Uh, it's actually Ricardo. Ricardo disqualified. Um, I wonder whether that's for sort of blocking the path of cars. I really don't know. But uh, certainly interesting safety car period. Do we come in and, and maybe change onto the the soft tyres, and or is it definitely too early? Uh, I'll see you guys once we catch up to. The safety car. Okay, the safety car's in this lap. We've turned all the engine up. Uh, Jeff did want us to come in this lap, but that is not happening now. Um, we're just waiting for Lewis Hamilton to bolt it. Safety car in this lap. Let's make sure those tyres are up to temperature. And remember, there is no overtaking until the first safety car line. Stay in position until the green flags. We're ready to go. I was going to pit this lap if the safety car was going to stay out. But Lewis Hamilton still hasn't bolted yet. Although here we, here we go. We're ready for racing again. We've been caught napping just a little bit. But Alonso shouldn't pass us. The McLaren a lot slower than us in a straight line. Hamilton leads the Grand Prix with Vettel in second. Although Vettel having a look around the outside into turn one. Is there going to be contact once again? Oh my goodness me, I was too busy looking at the cars in front than myself as Stapp and now having a look at Vettel. Alonso having a look at us, we've sort of lost ground on the guys in front simply because I was just a little bit too eager into turn one. But just made a move for first. Hamilton back into the lead of the Grand Prix, of course a purple first sector. This is the only racing lap we've had so far. But yeah, maybe we'll rue the missed opportunity of possibly pitting under safety car. Especially because Verstappen is on the super so uh, soft tyre, sorry. Although here comes Fernando Alonso. That is what we're worried about at the moment. But as you can see, the McLaren just doesn't have the straight line. Um, tri straight line speed without the DRS. And uh, we were able to fend them off fairly easily. We are struggling at this early stage of the race, so just struggling to get into our rhythm. And, and it's something that's carried over from Q3, really. We never really strung a, a clean lap together, but hopefully we can settle into a rhythm and and maybe have another battle with Kimi in this race. Although to the two race leaders are in. Hamilton and Vettel pit on the same lap, as does um, Fernando Alonso. So it's now time... For us to, to go for it. Verstappen is passed by Kimi on the DRS straight. I'm not sure if DRS has been enabled yet. Um, but Kimi flew past Max there. And it's time for us to basically do a qualifying lap because this is our pit in lap, lap five of this Grand Prix. Kimi Reichen in leads with Verstappen in second. We are currently in third place. And trying to put in the best lap of our Grand Prix so far to maybe come out ahead 
of uh, Hamilton and Vettel and especially Fernando Alonso because he was just behind us in the race so we need to make sure we get out ahead of him Jeff possibly saying stay out. Not sure if I agree with him. Uh, let's have a look at the tyres. 25% at the moment. We are closing in on, on Max here though. And track position is king in this situation. We are going to stay out. Kimi Raikkonen is into the pit so... We've just set the fastest lap of the race. This is perfect time and we've got the slipstream on Max Verstappen. We go down the inside and we're through. We are through into the lead of the Grand Prix. What a move that is on Max Verstappen. Simply using the slipstream of the car. We need to turn down uh, the ERS. We're going to go into medium for now. Try and harvest some more. Go into low for this section. possibly pit at the end of this lap but uh, boy oh boy that was an intense situation I've seen Raikkonen going into the pits and I've seen an opportunity for some clear air because we were really closing in on Max Verstappen I don't know whether he's just harvesting energy at this point although that is a very disappointing turn that's not what we wanted at all gonna go on none on the ERS we're gonna harvest some energy while we're on our in lap. But track position over Max Verstappen could be crucial later on in this Grand Prix. He's surely not going to pit anytime soon. We're going to go into lean because we are going to pit this lap and box onto the super soft tyres. So here we come around the final turn. Can we nail the pit entry? Here we come into the pits and well look at that a five second stop goal penalty <sighs> one day I'll learn one day I'll learn and here we go that's much better and uh, I promise uh, I'll turn the flashbacks off at some point but while we've got them we might as well rectify silly mistakes like that um, Let's move down to medium. Lewis Hamilton sets the fastest lap of the race and he does come out ahead of us, as does Vettel and Raikkonen who are battling. Up ahead, so we have lost a little bit of time, but hopefully we'll gain the time on Max Verstappen. I think that's who our battle is with in this race. Fernando Alonso comes out just behind us, so it's as you were. For track position in terms of us being in I guess theoretical fifth place it's up to Max Verstappen whether he can put in the the lap times um, in clear air but we're closing in on Vettel and Raikkonen who are battling up ahead for what will be a step on the podium whether it'll be second or third or fourth who knows Well, there goes Vettel making a move on Brendan Hartley. Hopefully Hartley's coming into the pits this lap. I don't want him messing up our Grand Prix as well. And, well, he doesn't uh, come into the pits this lap, so we're going to have to make a move. But we have set the fastest lap of the race. Hartley having a go on Sebastian Vettel into the first turn. What is going on there? That is absolutely crazy. The Honda engine with DRS has managed to overtake the, uh, the the Ferrari on the straight. That is absolutely crazy. But Vettel having a look at Hartley once again. Hartley really, really is destroying Vettel's race and we've come right up behind them both here. And we're just looking to basically pick up the pieces. We're going to go down the inside of Vettel and Hartley into one turn. Bit of a dive bomb, I agree. But we made the move and we made it stick so you know it was firm but fair we kept all four wheels on the track and we 
managed to make the move. Vettel having a look now with the DRS. He's having a look around our outside. We have the inside line though, so we should be able to make the move stick. And we do. So we are up into third place and in line for our first ever podium at the moment. We have um, got ahead of Max Verstappen as I anticipated with the on-track move. So I think it was justified staying on track an extra lap to make sure we got that move done. We made sure we had the best in-lap possible. And now we've got to try and hold off Sebastian Vettel. Well, here he comes down the inside. What a move that is. We're now going to switch to the inside. Oh, we make a little bit of contact. Do we just let him through for that? We've gone a little bit off track there. We'll let him through in the next turn. If he decides to take it, and he has done, although he's bashing us off the track now. Can we make the, the move again down the inside? We can do when we're through. I'm just hoping to harvest enough energy to, to basically keep him at bay on the straights. But the Statman is also in the game. He's on the super soft tyres, remember, so he's going to be a contender going into these last few laps. But at the moment... Well, looking good for a podium. Well, here comes Vettel again round the outside. I'm going to stick the energy boost up again. And we managed to get through. But this is going to be a very intense battle Three seconds. for the rest of this Grand Prix. Vettel and Verstappen right behind us now. Hopefully Verstappen will distract Vettel enough so that we can stick in third position for the rest of this Grand Prix. Let's use some of this energy. Increase the ERS deployment. Alright guys, we're going into the final lap now. It looks like Kimi Raikkonen has passed Lewis Hamilton up ahead for the race lead. I don't know how close Hamilton is. Um, well, it's time to uh, give everything we have in this final lap. Try our best to hold off Max Verstappen, who has managed to get past Sebastian Vettel. I don't know if we've seen it on camera yet, but Verstappen is right behind us. He's using everything he's got. We're going to use everything we've got in this final lap. We're going to try and basically drive the wheels off this thing to get our first career podium and give Mercedes a double podium which is certainly something we need it's a shame Lewis hasn't gone and uh, went on and got the W but you know certainly some positive signs this race we know we've got some upgrades coming next race so this is hopefully us responding to Vettel's dominance in Australia and uh, and getting a double podium and certainly my first podium will will give us a bit of confidence going into China in the next Grand Prix oh well I, I tell you what we nearly lost it there <laughs> that was very very close just using everything we've got into this final turn but Kimi Raikkonen has got the fastest lap and he has won the Bahrain Grand Prix, the return of the Iceman. And we finished yes, third. Yes, yes, we're on the podium. Good job this weekend. Great drive. Thank you. A great win then for the Marinello team today. And I have to wonder, Anthony Davidson, just what set them apart from the competition here? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs. And that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximise the strategy and to stay out of trouble.
And as the adrenaline dies down after another eventful Grand Prix, here come the top three out onto the podium. And after this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. Lewis Hamilton takes the lead of the driver's championship. Moving on to the driver of the day then, Anthony Davidson, who would you go for? Uh, it's got to be Roman Grosjean. He was in another league for me today, really impressive. And now let's take a look at the constructors' standings. Ferrari extend their lead at the top of the championship. Meanwhile, Renault move up the table with another strong performance this weekend. It was great having you with us for this weekend. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Until next time, though, goodbye. So there we have it then, the Bahrain Grand Prix of F1 2018. As you can see, we're in fifth in the driver's standings, but only one point separating the top three. If only it was that close in real life between the top five, I think we'd be really, really happy with that. The constructors, uh, Ferrari and Mercedes are pushing away from everybody else Red Bull back on 33 and then we, we have an even bigger gap to Haas and McLaren and Renault and uh, what have you but let's go and see if we have got any sort of media duties to be attending to at the end of this Grand Prix weekend it was an absolutely oh here we go really seem to enjoy that. you made it look easy everything went your way today it looked like you had a really good strategy for the race You had a close battle today, didn't you? It wasn't the cleanest race today, was it? Great. Well, that's everything. I don't really, uh, I don't really know what she's on about. The cleanest race. I mean, you know, there was a little bit of argy bargy there, here and there, but um, no, I thought I, I thought we raced well and 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 firm buffet, but um, no, certainly a, a very very good Grand Prix for us, and we did get the faster lap over Lewis Hamilton in this Grand Prix. So there you go. Um, Nine, uh, 12 9 at the moment out of 30, so we've certainly got a lot of chance to to, to bring it back against Lewis. We, uh, we've certainly got uh, a fair amount of uh, resource points there, which is excellent. And we've now got 1600 to spend in the next Grand Prix, and we've got an extra 400 from Mercedes there for qualifying sixth or better in both Grand Prix. Uh, we are moving up in the world. Uh, we are sportsmanship as That's well, which is really excellent. Well. I don't think we can have any complaints with our performance. Uh, so a little debrief there. Uh, we... last team goal. Well done. That should get the team a nice boost to their development, and it won't hurt when it comes to your next contract review either. There we go. So we've uh, fixed fixed up that. We've got uh, some resource points to spend. But as I said, we'll spend them in the next episode once we know which uh, upgrades have gone through and, and what other teams have done and what have you. But if you have enjoyed that, then make sure you do leave a like down below. It really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe for plenty more F1 content in the future. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.